Hey everybody, Lady B here. I just got finished reading Ron Foster's book, Our End of the Lake. And this is my book review. I've never done a book review before, so have a little bit of patience with me. And yes, I do have notes in front of me just to refer to, just so I won't forget anything. Anyhow, this is a three-in-one book. It contains all three in the series, Prepper's Road March, Bug Out, Prepper's on the Move, and The Light in the Lake. This is about survival after a solar EMP has taken out the electrical grid and all the modern conveniences that we have all taken for granted, all the electronics, all the computers and this and that and of course vehicles didn't move so that was a problem. But anyhow it's about this guy named David and his long journey home. He was in Atlanta, Georgia when the EMP hit and he had to go all the way to uh, Montgomery, Alabama. And he <laughs> had some really interesting ways of getting there. Started out on foot, but I'm not going to ruin it for the people that have not read it. But it's about uh, people that he ran across on his journey home. And some of them were real characters, that's all I'm going to say. But they were very interesting people. But anyhow, it's about how he interacts with these people and helps them to survive. And all through the book, he gives little tips and information that hopefully we never have to try to use. But it's there. Some of them have little diagrams that you can refer to. But... Uh, I kept mental notes all the way through the book to try to change a few things that I already do and kept notes on things that I don't know and believe me there's a lot. But anyhow there's much a whole lot more I could say about the book but I don't want to ruin it for the people that have not read it. I absolutely love the book. There were a few mistakes in it that the editing, de editing department, excuse me, missed, but it certainly didn't take away from the storyline, and I didn't mind a few mistakes here and there, but I found this book to be very entertaining and very informative, and of course there was some humor mixed in with it. After all, when we get to any kind of emergency, I think we all need to keep our little bit of sense of humor, whatever we can just to kind of lighten everybody's load and make everybody be in a better mood. Of course, people that know me know <laughs> that I will have my sense of humor until my dying day. And I hope that's not very soon. But anyhow, if you haven't read this book, please do. And I really hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Take care.